Good morning and thank you for joining us for the first ever Eagle 7 newscast at the University of Northwestern St. Paul. I'm Josette Eliff. And I'm Karina Triller. Last year, the Eagle's Nest project began. This year, it's finished. After nearly three months of construction, the Eagle's Nest officially opened its door on August 30th. Students now have fresh options for food. Additions to the menu include deli sandwiches, a salad bar, and daily specials. General Manager of Bon Appetit, Elliot Meyer, has high hopes for the changes. It has just so much more variety. We can, we can expand on so much. Bon Appetit also plans to change the candy wall into a pay-by-the-pound station, resembling that of the Billy Graham cafeteria. Students' input on a survey has management considering putting an Asian option on the menu as well. It's up to us to keep it fresh, keep it new and exciting, keep them coming down so it's not the same old, you know, the same old, same old menu. The new cafe is the students' cafe and, you know, your, uh, your interest is our interest. Um, so speak up and we listen and we will do what we can to, uh, to make it yours. Natalie Volna, Eagle 7 News. The Eagle's Nest isn't the only place on campus with a new look. The Facilities Department has been working hard to bring several other modifications to school this fall. Walking to and from classes, students may find themselves passing through areas on campus that resemble a desert more than a campus green. The most notable example of this is outside of Moyer, where construction has been taking place since July. Uh, we replaced the retaining wall at Moyer, the steps and the bridge and the walkway there um, due to the, the deterioration of the bridge itself. Riley Hall is also receiving modifications. Over the summer, the wooden gazebo was removed to allow for re-landscaping the commuter lot entrance. Both the Moyer and Riley projects should be complete within the next few weeks. Over the summer, Naz Chapel's roof was replaced for the first time ever. Uh, that is the original roof on the building. So we're approaching 100 years. Other renovations that have taken place on campus include the installation of new carpet in Knutson and in Maranatha Hall. The SOAR campaign, a new plan to expand and reconstruct athletic fields at Northwestern, was announced on May 20, 2013 and is scheduled to break ground in the spring of 2014. The new plan includes new turf and lighting, tennis courts, and a central plaza for gathering. Stadium seating for 1,400 people will also have locker rooms, concessions, and restrooms. The hope is that the improved facilities will have long-term and immediate benefits. Tennis players will no longer have to practice at local fitness centers, and the new lighting will allow practice to extend into the evening, reducing the amount of missed class during the day. Northwestern's Director of Annual Giving, Callie Waite, said that prayer committees meet twice a month to ask the Lord to provide in the areas they need. So far, the campaign has raised almost five of the $11 million goal. And I think it's something that this campus is ready for. It's something that we need. I think that our students are really excited about it. And it's just kind of the next step in bringing us to our name, to University of Northwestern. So, There has been another big change at Northwestern this year. In the past, Northwestern's campus would shut down from the beginning of chapel to the end. No food, no service, no library. That has all changed this year with the start of the new chapel schedule. The hours of the Heritage Cafe, Bernstein Library, and the Campus Store have been extended so students needing to work on assignments or grab breakfast can during chapel. For more specific information on hours, visit the Campus Services tab on the Rock. A new year at Northwestern means a new class of freshmen. I was able to catch up with a few of them to see what they think of UNW so far. Hey guys, Karina Troller here with Eagle 7 News. I'm here at Oasis Park where students from Moyer, South, and Southeast are gathered for their annual Moasis event. Well, events like this are popping up all over on campus at Northwestern, and we're here to see what the freshmen think of their first year experience. What is your freshman year like at Northwestern so far? I love it because I have awesome roommates, and we do lots of weird things, <laughs> and it's oh, yeah. really fun. <laughs> What was your guys' favorite thing that you did? 
Um, I would say our service projects because we had like it was so much fun because we all came together and we're all like doing the fun like working and we just like made a lot of friends. Back. And it was really fun. I I like the chapels, the worship ones on Fridays. They're my favorite. Worship is really good. I also love our Bible study. It's just kind of a time to chill out and really get to know each other. I'm Mike Andrews. And what year are you, Micah? I'm a freshie. What's your freshman year like so far? It's been alright. <laughs> My orientation leader has been decent. I just won a game of Ultimate Frisbee. What's your name? Uh, the name's Eric Fair. So what's one piece of advice you'd like to give the freshmen this year? If I'd say if you're a freshman, the best advice I can give you is get to know your professors. What I'd like to do is to encourage all the freshmen uh, who are incoming, come out to events like this, maybe you get some food. Also, just come out to events and get involved uh, with your hall or with your RA, and that way you'll be able to get connected and build that strong community that North Northwestern strives for. So there you have it. It looks like the freshmen are getting along great, and we're looking forward to another great year. Every year, Northwestern hosts an event that unites current and prospective students. Football Frenzy. This year's event will take place this Saturday, September 14th, with kickoff at 1 o'clock p.m. During halftime, there will be contests to win free tuition for a year and $500 towards books at the campus store. Sign up in the Erickson Center by 11.30 a.m. on Saturday to participate in the contests. That's all the news we have for you this week. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Karina Triller. And I'm Josette Eliff. See you next week.